is the beginning of Children's Dental Awareness Month, as Jason alluded to. And according to a recent study, cases of tooth decay in kids have really gone up in recent years. And with Valentine's Day just right around the corner, your kids may be chowing down in some of those sweets in the coming days. So we do want to have some ideas for how that we can keep our kids' teeth healthy. And joining us this morning is Dr. Shima Abdullah. Thank you so much. You are from the Rittenhouse Family Dental. I want to thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, guys. I'm excited to be here. Now, I do want to go back to that study that we were just talking about that we mentioned here and the studies show that people and kids who did not have a healthy diet were six times more healthy or three times more healthy to suffer from tooth decay. Exactly. So like you mentioned, February is Children's Dental Health Awareness Month. So we're trying to bring a lot of awareness to this issue because the dental, ca dental cavities are actually increasing. So we want to talk a little bit about what causes it and how to prevent it. Okay. So Good things to remember if you're a parent with your kids is kind of some maybe some guidelines to get you through this and kind of stay on track because it can get away from you quickly. So let's go to some of your tips that you brought in for parents to kind of remember uh, as they go day to day with their kids. The first one sure. you have here. Yep. So the first one is limiting the snacking between meals, which as a parent of two, like I know it's so difficult to limit the snacking, but there's, I bought in some examples of the worst offenders and then, you know, if they are snacking, some things you could try. So the worst offender is actually the fruit snacks. No, Anything? I have those upstairs right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a lot of this stuff from my pantry, so I know all about it. But the fruit snacks, because they're sticky and sweet, they actually stick to the surfaces of the teeth and break them down pretty quickly. So this is what you want to avoid, especially if it's like the last thing they have in their mouth at night. Or the problem, the real problem with snacking is it's sitting on their teeth for an extended right. period of time. So the Goldfish are also a very sticky carbohydrate. It gets into the grooves of the teeth and really breaks everything down. Um, the applesauce is like super popular. If it's offered at mealtime along with the juice, it's okay because some of the other foods that they're having will neutralize a lot of the sugar and the acid content, so it'll kind of wash everything away. Yeah, and this goes right into your second tip now because obviously it's those foods that kind of hang around in your mouth mm -hmm. and on the teeth for quite some time. So your second uh, tip here is uh, no sugar after brushing your teeth. That's a yes. big one, right? That's huge. So one of my parenting hacks is that if I do offer my kids these bad snacks, I do it right before bed. And I know that seems crazy, but I know that I'm going to brush their teeth right. really well and I'm going to get in there with a toothpaste. So I know at least that it's I'm washing everything out before they go to bed and it's not sitting on their teeth for a long period of time. Um, so I did want to go over quickly just the healthier yeah, snacks yeah, as sure. well. So if you are going to offer them snacks throughout the day, which is important if you're like traveling or in the car, then apples are one of the best snacks because the um, the fiber content actually washes out plaque as okay. they're chewing it. Same thing with the carrots and the celery. And then you could throw in some fun dips like the ranch or the hummus. Oh, Cheese sticks are great that. too. Yeah. And we do want to get to your third tip that you have. Um, beginning the fluoride treatments in children as young as age one. That's interesting. Yeah. So this is a new recommendation by the Pediatric Dental Association. So um, typically we introduce fluoride at about five to six, which is when the permanent teeth start right. to erupt. Right. Um, so the newer recommendation actually recommends introducing fluoride at age one or when the first tooth arrives, which is usually around 10 to 12 months. Um, it's just recommending like a grain of rice the size. That's how, that's okay, how much that toothpaste you want to put because they're not really spitting at that age. They can't spit it out and they're not good at it. So it's okay if they just use the brush and they bite on it or play with it. It's just all about getting them into that routine and forming the habits early. And speaking of the brush, the final tip there is uh, what you kind of should be using to brush your kids' uh, teeth and how early you should start. So you want to start as soon as their first tooth erupts. And if you want to start even sooner, there's spiffy wipes, which are awesome. These are actually just wipes for the gums because it's all about getting them used to having something in their mouth every night before right. bed, establishing that routine. Um, I'm a big fan of the spinny brushes. So it's all, like this helps increase compliance in kids because you got to make it as fun as possible. Right. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the fruity flavors. Like this is a watermelon flavored. It's fluoride free, but it tastes a lot like candy. So the kids love oh, they it. They love like that. Yeah. You don't want to make the brush uh, teeth brushing uh, a miserable experience for them. Exactly. Yeah. You want to sing a song. You want to make it like a fun experience so that they know. Okay, this isn't going to last forever. Just something I'm going to do every night before bed and make it as fun as possible. That's why I like the spinny brushes and they have like the fun characters on them. Great. It's all about making it fun. Awesome. awesome tips, so much. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks Dr. for Shaman. having me. We definitely appreciate you ha coming in and sharing that stuff appreciate with us. Well,